I've apparently videoed this car several times. Uh, this is a compilation of uh, two separate videos. Lots of information about this car. 1976 Cadillac Eldorado in convertible form here was thought to be the last convertible to be produced because of anticipated federal regulations about rollover stability. But that was not to happen. Later on, convertibles were back uh, front and center. And uh, I think uh, the uh, K car from Chrysler should get credit for helping to revive convertibles. But at any rate, this uh, car was quite expensive. The well, one it was uh, brand new, over $12,000. In 1976, that was a lot of money. And of course, uh, it's a big engine with front wheel drive. Here's a listing of all the extras that were added to the car and the price thereof. Some people collected uh, two of these, one for storage and possible uh, resurrection at a later time for a great profit and another for daily use. The thing is, uh, because it was not the last convertible, the collectible status uh, I don't think ever really materialized to be what people thought it was going to be. But at any rate, it's a beautiful car and it certainly deserves to be collected. You see the interior is a matching blue and it's very nicely done. It looks very, very comfortable. Nice leather seating. Individually adjustable front seats. The car overall has a sculptured appearance. Lots of lines break up the flat surfaces. Large tail lamps. This car has something else special going for it, and you'll see that in a minute. And that was its connection to Elvis Presley. Elvis evidently had cars stationed in various locations, and this was his uh, car for Nevada. You'll see a description of that in a minute. So Elvis actually drove this car. So a car like this has the ultimate uh, collectability being connected with Elvis. Now here is the uh, information about his use of this car. It was stationed in Denver, Colorado. Fly into Denver and then he would drive it around. It was sold to Tennessee businessmen and went, eventually went to the Imperial Palace in Vegas their collection and then was auctioned by Cruise Motors, Cruise International. So the car has been around but it's an amazing car with a unique history.